a 600 stock production, one class only, and they're all going to head into turn number one at the same time. Oh, a little creeping by some of those guys in the back. Here we go. Oh, one guy from the back got a great start, but he got his way blocked by the riders up in the front, and one rider went off into the dirt. One rider went right off into the dirt, and now he's dead last. Okay, three riders now starting to uh, motor away from the rest of the field here as they do battle for the lead. And all the other riders now starting to settle back into their positions as they hit the fastest part of the racetrack right now at about 125, 130 miles an hour. Here they come. Look at this. We've got change of position for the lead right now. The oh, the rider, the one of the leaders is down hard and the bike flipping end over end. He was a little offline and finally just went right off the track and I believe he got bumped, but he went way in over into the riders up and okay. Oh, horrendous action over there, but the riders up and okay. And uh, leading the pack right now is bike number 34 and that's Todd Rawson on the Honda. In second spot was bike number nine, Al Garza. And then there was one rider we didn't catch, but in uh, third or fourth position was uh, bike number 40, Jim Runyon. We'll check him next time around we're, as we clear up the confusion over there in turn number nine. I want to mention to your spectators up in turn number four, the Budweiser balcony, the Bud Tower is open up there if you want to uh, grab something uh, to eat or to drink. Well, it was about a 120 mile an hour get off, but the uh, rider is up and okay. Now the bike is totally destroyed. That thing flipped end over end several times. And we're going to try and pick up a name and a number for you. That battle for the lead continues, however, that's not a three-rider duel anymore, it's only two, as it looks like it's Rawson and Garza in a pitched battle for the lead here in the 600 class. Here they come out of turn number nine, one, one more time, and opening it up a little bit is, uh, looks like that's 261, is that what that is? We've got the leader with his number plate on the side number plate we cannot pick up because he doesn't have one. He must have lost it in that melee over there in turn number nine on the first lap. We've only got his number plate on the front of the bike and we can't pick up his number on the side. Jeff Wells, can you go back? Jeff Wells, can you see rider number 121, please? Jeff Wells, please see rider number 121. Here come your uh, battle for the lead again. We know in second spot it was...
was bike number, I believe it's nine, Al Garza, but we're trying to check the leader's number as his side number plate is gone off the motorcycle. It is 260, it looks like, and that's Mike Graves with Todd Ross in his second spot. Then in third spot comes 40, and that is uh, Jim Ryan, and behind him is bike number nine, and that is going to be Al Garza. So that's your top four, and it looks like more and more that might be 118, unconfirmed, that crash over there in turn number nine, Art Kawaguchi on the Honda. We're not confirming that as of yet, but that looks like that who it was. Again, boy, we got a battle royal out here for the lead right now between uh, Todd Ross and 34 and Michael Graves. Graves on the Honda, Ross and also on a Honda. Here they come out of turn number nine again, and it's Graves and Ross. And Look at this four rider duel for third spot, and it's getting close. Michael Graves out in front. Todd Rawson running in second spot. In third spot, it's 33, Jeff Brenda, the points leader on the Yamaha. So it's Honda, Honda, Yamaha in the top three positions. In fourth place, it's Al Garza on a Yamaha. In fifth place, it's 383, Mark King, or 323, Mark King on a Yamaha. In sixth spot, it's bike number 40, Jeff Runyon on a Honda. In seventh spot, it's bike number 12, Alan Smith on a Kawasaki. In eighth spot, 769. That is Brett Meacham on a Yamaha in eighth place. In ninth spot, bike number 37, Todd Kimball on a Yamaha. And in tenth spot, bike number 904, that is Steve Michaelis on a Yamaha. And in eleventh place, 921, and that is Tom Christian on a Kawasaki. So that's your top 11 as they go in and to complete another lap. And once again, your leaders in a knockdown, dragout battle. But boy, we got a fiercer battle back there for third spot. I cannot believe four riders just really going at it. For third, it's uh, looks like it's Brenda, Garza, King, and uh, Runyon. And boy, they're putting on a great battle for third spot. Look at this battle coming down here for third. And right now, it's Al Garza leading the pack with Brenda in second spot, King in third spot, and about ready to go into. Uh, second in that position. They're going into turn number one, three abreast, and a great play by Runyon. It looked like he got by them all. We'll check it out as they come by again. But that's a great battle between Runyon, Garza, Brenda, and King. And it looks like King might have come out on top. Kawaguchi's machine coming back into the pits, uh, a lot worse for wear. Race number 12, 750 and open modified production up for the pre-grid. Riders, 750 modified production, open modified production, and riders get down there and check your grid position. Still reaching out there in turn number nine area as the battle for third now splitting himself up somewhat. 
But look at this. These guys are really going at it as they come up on a lap rider. It's Graves and Lawson. And boy, this one is not going to be decided until the checkered flag as they go around the lap rider. Now spreading themselves somewhat out in third spot, Mark King. Then comes uh, Brenda. Find them, Runyon. And then in the fifth spot, Al Garza. And behind them comes bike number 12, and that'll be Alan Smith. So a lot of changing in the points are going to take place in this as well. As your leader, Ross, it looks like he is going to uh, probably take over the points lead and snap that three-way uh, points uh, battle for third place. Uh, getting around some lap traffic may make the difference in this race be, uh, between uh, Rawson and uh, Graves and Rawson as they come down the start finish rate again. Let's see where, if we can find them out here on the racetrack right now. The as the white flag is out. It's going to come out here on this next lap. So we're going to have one lap to decide it. We've gone uh, seven laps so far, and we still haven't uh, decided who the winner is. Look at these guys coming down here for the lead. It's Graves and Rawson, and now they've got the white flag. They know what's in store. We're going to follow these guys around for the last lap. Rawson going to try and make a move. Not this time. He's going to try and follow him around. Maybe he's already decided where he's going to try and get him. But they better hurry because there's some lap traffic coming up on him in turn number two, as they now go into turn number two. Rawson biding his time in second spot. Right on the rear tire of Graves as they go around turn number two for the last time. Race number 12, 750 Mod Prod, Open Mod Prod. Second call for you guys. Okay, they go up into turn number three. Okay, no change yet. It's still Graves and Rawson, but they're coming up on some lap traffic. This could be a problem. It's how they get through the lap traffic, and here they come up on it. Oh, Graves not finding his way around there very well, and of course, look at this. He got boxed by a lap rider, and of course that was worse for uh, Rawson because he really got boxed as he's going to try and find a way around, and he had to wait until they get to the straight way to do it. And now they go around the second lap rider right about now, and it's still Graves and Rawson now. They're free of it, and look at this. Rawson goes to the lead. So Rawson and Graves in a handlebar, a handlebar, knock down, drag out duel of the checker. Here they come out of turn number nine. The checker flag is out. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's Graves and Rawson. They're side by side. It's going to be? Oh, too close. I cannot call it. Somebody's going to have to call it down there at the start finish line because we don't know up here in the tower. We're at a different angle. We're going to need a confirmation on who won that race. Was it Rawson or was it Graves? We're going to find out. They're going to tell us down at the start-finish line. Well, we got a rider that rode off in turn number nine, but he's going to ride it right back on the racetrack again. scorekeepers down there at the start finish line we've got all four of them and they've all confirmed it right now none of them could call it they call it a dead heat we've got a tie for the lead <laughs> 